as technology continues to advance, so does the way we live. So one question comes to mind, how does the city change as it grows? Well, today we'll be exploring that question in the small city of Adelaide, which has undergone some big changes recently. First, we need to explore how cities grow. And cities work in a sort of cycle. First, for a city change, we need population growth. With population growth comes economic growth and funds back into the city. This encourages more people to live in the CBD. We asked Stefan Knoll, the Minister of Transport and Infrastructure, if he was available for an on-screen interview, but sadly he declined due to the fact that he was short on time. But he was able to answer some questions via email. There are two key areas we should be mindful of. First is the population. Our population is just a fraction of the total population of Australia. Growing our population base is important and we need to generate economic activity that will underpin our infrastructure needs. Stefan Knoll. I'm currently standing outside the office of Mr. Brett Miller, the team leader of planning in the Department of Planning, Technology and Infrastructure, and I'm about to head inside for an interview. Let's see what he has to say about all the new developments that have been popping up around Adelaide recently. Why do you think it's important to develop new building infrastructure here in Adelaide? Um, oh, it's probably very important because of the fact that we need to try to grow the population and, um, for Adelaide as a whole. Um, and as part of that, you need the infrastructure to, to support whatever population growth. Um, in my role, city development space, the, um, it's, it's more to try to get the population back into the, into the actual CBD um, and provide, yeah, provide the appropriate infrastructure then to support that, that population. What has been the most significant infrastructure project in recent years or months? Um, if you're talking just from a government perspective, you'd probably have to say the, um, the South Road connection, um, running yeah, north-south um, across the city to get um, traffic flowing through. That's probably the biggest infrastructure um, project. Um, outside of the metropolitan area, there's probably a number of infrastructure projects on um, renewable energy that's probably very big for the, for the state um, and lots of investment that's coming through that through that and providing it more, um, yeah, more sustainable um, power supply for the state. What has been the more exciting um, th building or infrastructure advancement that's happened here in Adelaide? Um, uh, the government has had recently done some policy changes which has meant there's been a big uplift in buildings um, for the city, so getting more population into the, into the city. Uh, lots of new apartment buildings, office towers, student accommodation, lots of yeah, different types of buildings and different architecture as well. So I mean that's been good to see um, for the metropolitan area and particularly the city. City to see all the, the bigger buildings and cranes on the skyline building yeah, building a lot more taller and and um, well designed buildings, building outcomes. So. Um, here outside the new Royal Adelaide Hospital, which is located on North Terrace. The building was opened and founded on the 4th of September 2017 as a replacement for the old Rulinay Hospital, which was shut down due to its old age. The recent state budget has committed a $773 million investment in roads, hospitals, schools and emergency services to help improve services, lower costs and drive economic growth and development. Stefan Knoll. Government funded upwards of $2.3 billion towards the project, making it one of the most expensive buildings in the world. The new Royal Adelaide Hospital contains all new, state-of-the-art technologies such as robots, a totally automated microbiology lab and filled with all the latest medical equipment, hence the gargantuan cost. Riverbank Precinct is one of the more new and developed areas of Adelaide, with many recognisable and unique buildings, it's often known as the heart of Adelaide. It contains many of the more culturally significant buildings in Adelaide, such as the Adelaide Oval, the Entertainment Centre, the Royal Adelaide Hospital, the Convention Centre, South Australia Health Centre, Medical Research Institute, MOD, Parliament of South Australia, Adelaide Festival Centre and the HMS Building. The Adelaide Convention Centre is a location that hosts a variety of different events, including special visits from famous celebrities from around the world, and is completely fitted for any event. People often favour function over form, but here we have the best of both worlds. It can host approximately 200,000 guests and is the first convention centre in the world to receive the Earth Check Platinum Certification. 
EarthCheck is a leading company in scientific benchmarking and advisory for travel and tourism. Pretty flashy for such a small city, huh? As we've seen, the city of Adelaide is constantly growing. Cranes and robots can be seen everywhere. Adelaide's population is the fuel for its growth, and with growth can move buildings, such as Royal Adelaide Hospital, which is one of the best of its kind, and the Adelaide Convention Centre, with its unique design. Adelaide ranks on the one of the most livable cities in the world, due to all of the changes that have occurred recently, and Adelaide perfectly shows what happens as the city grows over time. Of course, no positive change can come without flaws. Adelaide has a bright future looking forward.